Mendes is a clinical stage immuno-oncology company based in Sweden and the Netherlands. It is focused on developing active immunotherapies to improve long-term survival in cancers, including blood-borne tumors that are underserved by immunotherapies such as checkpoint inhibitors. The company's lead clinical program, Vitadansil, is an off-the-shelf cellular immunotherapy that is being developed as a maintenance therapy for acute myeloid leukemia, AML. There are five key reasons why Mendis may be considered an attractive investment. First, the clinical data for Vitadensil in AML to date has been very encouraging. Mendis's latest update from the Advanced 2 trial, testing the lead candidate as a maintenance therapy, showed favorable survival outcomes. AML is a highly deadly disease and associated with high relapse rates following initial treatment success due to residual cancer cells. In the Advanced 2 trial, Patients in first complete remission following high-intensity chemotherapy but with measurable residual disease were treated with vitadensil. Importantly, at a median follow-up of 42 months, the majority of patients were alive and disease-free, with 11 out of 20 patients in complete remission. Vitadensil's efficacy is believed to stem from its mechanism as an active immunotherapy, leading to long-term immune control over residual disease by the patient's own immune system. Second, vitadensil is an off-the-shelf therapy. It is stored frozen, shipped to hospitals on demand, and can be easily administered via intradermal injection, strongly supporting wide uptake and accessibility. The product is derived from the company's proprietary DC-1 cell line, meaning it does not require a patient's own biological material. This offers strong competitive advantages compared to patient-derived cell therapies, which is what the cancer cell therapy market is currently limited to. The final vitadensil end product may be produced in large batches, offering improved scalability, tighter control in the supply chain, and less susceptibility to external challenges. Third, a key differentiating characteristic of Mendis is its manufacturing capabilities. The company has developed a robust and scalable manufacturing process for vitadensil. It is also engaged in a manufacturing alliance with North X Biologics. This has been set up to support the production of vitadensil through the pivotal stages of clinical development to eventual commercialization. This should mitigate the challenges faced by many cell therapy companies, such as those related to supply chain and delivery bottlenecks. Fourth, the company has multiple upcoming inflection points. The main near-term milestone will be reaching pivotal stage readiness from the second half of 2025, including large-scale GMP production. This will support the launch of a global registrational trial from early 2026. Additional milestones include the next readout of its ovarian cancer trial based on two-year survival follow-up expected in the fourth quarter of 2025 and potential additional trials in the blood-borne tumor space. Fifth, Mendes has a broad offering, mitigating its exposure to binary risk events. Beyond the registrational trial preparations, the company is exploring Vitadensil's potential in other AML settings, as well as in additional hematological malignancies. The Phase I ovarian cancer trial has shown favorable initial data, and the upcoming survival readout may unlock further development efforts in this indication. Beyond Vitadensil, Mendes is also seeking partnering opportunities for its second clinical candidate, Elixidensil. This has shown promise in solid tumors. It is also developing a preclinical pipeline based on the use of its technology to expand natural killer cells for therapeutic purposes. Collectively, these additional programs may deliver further upside to Mendes's value proposition. In conclusion, Mendes presents a compelling investment case. The company's focused approach to developing active immunotherapies with the backing of robust clinical data and manufacturing capabilities underscores its potential to improve long-term survival outcomes for cancer patients. Overall, it is well positioned for an attractive future market performance with the potential to drive shareholder returns. For more information on Mendis, please visit the Edison website.